Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to our Terraria Christmas Adventure. Welcome back everyone, it's day 9, so that means 2 weeks left till Christmas I guess? I think that's right, 2 weeks away? Man, that's actually pretty exciting stuff. And I actually have good news for my area of England, um, it's actually going to snow in the morning, so when I wake up, it will be beautiful snow. Unfortunately though, we have this Christmas tradition in my city where we host this big giant Christmas event that lasts a couple of days and they're cancelling it for the final day because the snow is going to uh, basically be dangerous to drive in. So that kind of sucks because I was thinking, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wake up in the snow and because obviously I live a YouTuber lifestyle, I'm not going to go to work because this is work um, and I'm going to go walk to that Christmassy event and I'm going to enjoy it in the snow with my partner because she has a day off as well. So it's like, oh, perfect timing. And then they cancelled it. Right. So before we get into things, I'm just looking at my settings. It seems like something has been tweaked. I don't know. I don't know what's been... All right. That's a little bit better. So I didn't get to show you this yesterday, guys. I actually did organize everything into chess. So we got building, we got potions, crafting, weapons, gems, and ore. Uh, we've also got accessories, armor, uh, we've got nature, fishing, building, and then these two are spare so far. So, since the last episode, I've been working on our character some. I'll show some little clips now if I remember to put them in, if I remember, uh, of what I got up to. So, I built a elevator, so that took a little while to actually mine down. It actually takes about 10 to 12 minutes to actually mine a full elevator. It takes quite a long time. Uh, and then I went and got all the stuff I needed for my potions, and then I used those ingredients to make obsidian potions, and I got a bunch of hellstone, and then now I'm rocking hellstone armor because it gives you 27 defense, which is better than what we had before. So, whereas I was going to spend the time fishing, instead I spent the time just getting better armor. I also got the pickaxe we needed for hard mode. So, what we're doing today is we're doing Skeletron, and if I beat Skeletron, well, that would be pretty awesome. But we'll spend some time exploring the dungeon today, and then we'll do the Wall of Flesh tomorrow. Presumably. Probably tomorrow, because I can build up the arena. <sighs> so, feels good to uh, to be back in full swing. I needed a little break, as you guys could tell yesterday, so I had to kind of make a filler episode. So, it's good to be back and in full swing. Right, so it's almost night time. I'll see you when it's night. Alright, it's time. So, I'll be honest with you guys. I actually, uh, I actually did a fight, died, and then here we are now. Um, but the problem was, in the first fight I actually did, I got that weird Terraria jumping, skipping bug that I had a couple of days ago, where it was kind of like, just freezing randomly, and so I died because I just froze in midair, and then when I, uh, when my game resumed, I had, uh, fallen to the ground. So, no luck. Well, I'm coming back with potions, more bullets, and I've even brought the Dryad for extra defense. Now, I would show you that clip, honestly, it just really isn't worth it though. Okay, so once again, starting with the hands. That is my ultimate goal. I also reforged uh, one of the accessories. I replaced the hand warmers as well with a band of regen. Uh, and I even reforged the snowball cannon, although it was quite expensive to reforge. So it wasn't really worth it. Look at that, already taking a bit of fall damage. Okay, gotta remember to be sensible. And if I can, stay in the dryad's bubble because that gives an additional 8 defense. So we'll have to see. Okay, over here we go. So, in my original take that has now been cut, I actually tried to do a technique I saw in Python's video when he did this during the Christmas adventure, and he was able to just hit the head of uh, Skeletron, and then that was it. He, he hit the head, and that's how he beat it. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll give that a try. And then I tried it, and look at that, one tick of damage. And it's because I didn't realize that Python must have recorded that episode in normal mode. <laughs> uh, so I was like, I was really, really confused, because I was like, all right, I was like, P series one for Python was normal, series two was expert. That's how I remembered it, but apparently not. I'm just a fool who has forgotten uh, his series. <laughs> okay, over here. Oh, okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. I also noted that he beat the Wall of Flesh on episode 9, which means when we do it on episode 10, we're not too far behind. I was very worried going into this that I wouldn't be able to beat the game quick enough, or I'd beat it too fast. So, 
it seems like we're just on track. Maybe I'll have to speed it up a bit to, uh, to catch up with Python at least. Okay, let's keep working on these hands. It's, it's going well. It's going fantastic, actually. I'm actually really, really happy with how this is going. Yeah, this is, this is good. This is good. Okay. So, I had a question for you guys. So, I recently got a tweet, or I recently responded to a tweet from an artist named Aquid. Now, Aquid was the lovely person who did uh, this awesome Terraria artwork for me that I had uh, made into a canvas for my birthday. And every series I've done modded, he's actually made me a new picture to go along with it. So I have four canvases in my office, which is really special uh, because I actually have like a, a physical thing to hold for my series. Uh, but that side, anyway, so I responded to this tweet about him uh, and he was like, Oh, this time last year I bought Starbound. And I was like, Hey, did you like Starbound? Because of course we played it on the channel. I feel like we all thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing through it. But his response is what the question was all about. So he responded, yes, I, uh, I absolutely loved it. And now I play it every December slash Christmas. It's my, it's my thing. And I was wondering, do you guys have any games like that that you play over Christmas? Because I'll be honest with you guys, Undertale was one of mine. I played Undertale twice uh, over a Christmas. So I played it last year and I played it the year before that. Because it's just got a really Christmassy vibe to it. And I played it over Christmas originally. So it really just felt like something uh, festive to me. So I wanted to know, do you have a Christmassy kind of game that you play? I used to play, back in the day, Sims. That's what I would always play every Christmas, uh, or at least December. I would uh, I'd play it pretty much the whole month, because you, you get off school early in December, and you don't care as much in December. I mean, this kind of changed when I got a little bit older, but yeah, it's what I used to do. So it's a way of getting in the festive spirit, I guess. What I usually do these days is I usually save the day after Christmas, no, not Boxing Day, the 27th. The 27th and the 28th, that's when I like to chill on my own and play games. That's, that's my favorite time. That's when I get all festive. Right, we need to destroy the other hand so that it can't swipe us. But we now have the schools, and I feel like we all learned the other day that I am not the best at the schools. So the goal now is to kill it before it kills us. Okay, I'll take my extra defense when I can get it. I feel like one technique is to actually circle, if you can, circle the actual skull itself. You know, the big Skeletron skull? I'm not going to be able to do that every time, because look, I just took fall damage then, stupidly. Oh, I need to stop taking fall damage! That's my fault that time as well, I can't even blame that on the bug. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't know if it's wise for me to circle the skull now, now that I've said it. Oh, I don't know where to go! I'm so terrible at this phase of the fight, it annoys me because I don't want to spend days on this. Okay, skull, sit down, be humble. <laughs> I don't know why I went into that. Okay. Ah, God, skulls! Oh, these blooming skulls! I feel like expert Skeletron is too hard! This is so annoying. And I'm not playing this up, by the way. I really am this bad at this fight. I wish that I wasn't, trust me. Because I would not like to spend days on this fight. In all honesty, it, it doesn't feel good to be bad at this part of the fight, considering I am uh, somebody who's meant to play the game a lot. Ah! Grapple down. Oh, look at that for a health. Five health left. Really? Well, anyway, we've, we've healed up now, but still... It almost feels like a lost cause before I've even began. I just... I just am not good at this part of the fight. I just wish that it was. I'm like, what's it about? Is it... No, 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 no! Ah! <laughs> I'm like, what's it about? Is it about the circling? Is it about, you know... The speed? Are you meant to, to charge around them? Ah! God! <laughs> I hate this. I hate to lose. And I just hate the schools. Oh my god! Oh, that was frustrating. That that really grinded me down, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I expected so much better of myself. I wasn't expected to be grounded down like that. I need some, uh... I don't know what I need. So, I, I got better armor, and I also reforged a bunch of stuff. Now, the, oh my god. The problem is... The problem is, is I want to do it with a Christmassy weapon, and the snowball cannon is definitely the way to go. 
It's the best Christmassy looking weapon. But I'm honestly unsure, man. I have no clue what to do. And it's an absolute shame. So, tomorrow we're going to come back even stronger. I'm going to do more. I'm going to get that fishing done. I'm going to reforge even more. I'll show you what I'm working with. Good, good stuff, right? Maybe turn down critical strike chance, maybe. Oh, but I need to look at some guides. I'm going to need to work on a strat. It's, it's hard, honestly. It's very, very frustrating. Maybe, just maybe, I need to, uh, to go back to an old Euromir strategy. There was an old Euromir strategy back in the day where you would actually build these little huts. And while it was in that phase, you would stand under the hut and you would wait your turn kind of thing. Because while you're under the hut, he doesn't actually throw uh, the skulls at you. So, I'm, I'm going to come back tomorrow even stronger and we'll do it again. So, what I'll do is tomorrow is I'll try and make a giant episode. So, I'll do Skeletron tomorrow. Uh, and when I get it done, we'll go loot the dungeon. I'll have Wall of Flesh already set up for tomorrow. So, that's something we can get done. Because uh, that's going to take a little while to build. But I'll do that off camera so you guys don't have to wait through that. And that's what we'll do. So, it's going to be awesome. And, uh, and I will see you all tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please leave a like. It's honestly much appreciated. Uh, likes go a long way on YouTube. Obviously, it tells YouTube that you like what you see. And then YouTube will go, hey, here's some more chippy gaming videos. And they'll throw some of you away. And obviously, that goes a long way. So, yeah. All right. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow anyway, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Peace.